What is going on, YouTube family? Uh, this is a, another update from Nature's Jewels. I'm just showing you my little Zilla enclosure uh, that they just came out with. It's completely collapsible. It's really cool. It's a really great design. Um, I wish I, you know, patented it before I contacted the company for uh, a patent that I have for a catch cup, but in this enclosure I previously had my six spot tiger beetles and I moved them out to their own enclosures because they're typically not uh, communal and I went ahead and actually got myself a female wolf spider in this corner here Let's see if I can catch her um, but she's been eating great really loving this enclosure um, really enjoying this species of true spider. They don't web as much as a lot of tarantula species that I actually like. I enjoy tarantulas that are heavy, heavy webbers. Um, I have a few fossorial species that are just absolutely stunning and gorgeous, but, you know, obviously you don't get to see them as often. And uh, the wolf spiders, um, this one being a, this one was uh, collected in Indiana, uh, is just constantly out, constantly eating. She's just, she's just really great, just a, an amazing species of spider, true spider. So if you guys get a chance, oh, she got a little scared there, you see her jump back. If you get a chance to um, acquire one, from captive breeding um, I definitely recommend it because they are just so amazing they're they're always out they're always lurking around hunting actively I provided a little bit of foliage right here and here just for her to hide under um, and some moss for additional humidity I went ahead and sprayed her down and then I offered her food and she took it like a champ and uh, they're just, I'm gonna try to try, I'm gonna try to get her. She is actually quite massive for a wolf spider. I put my finger up there for a reference, but uh, her body is huge. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find a male for her uh, to breed with. Um, I'm sure she'll eat him. She, they're they're ravenous eaters and just room temperature with a little bit of humidity occasionally and they just do great uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this enclosure and show you guys how it works it's a four piece completely collapsible enclosure and it just kind of sets down into these grooves slides back locks down and then you over here, you're going to turn this tab, which spins over, and then locks into that hole. And that's it. I mean, it's it's a really great enclosure. Uh, they have a boreal setups. My friend over, uh, Dan over at, um, uh, in Maguanago at Animal House has these available for sale and if you guys are interested uh, I'm fairly certain he has a um, Facebook page as well as an email available if he does and I don't have it currently in the description below I'll go ahead and add it later on once I talk to him again and uh, you guys can pick up these enclosures, but they're really cool. They just come together with these little rubber bands and they're four or six different sides with a, a base included. And uh, that's where you put all your substrate and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just an amazing design, uh, really good ventilation, cross ventilation put in. I do wish that they had it on the uh, rear and the front or even um, maybe just a little bit of something along the top and that's something that you could add and tailor later on um, but I definitely have my own designs and concepts 
uh, to upgrade this in the future and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that in a future video so if you um, want to check that out make sure you like subscribe and uh, until next time if you keep it keep it crawling wolf spiders are definitely the way to go I love orb weavers too they're gorgeous uh, they just require a much bigger enclosure and they they require a lot more uh, space for their webbing so wolf spiders are, are just amazing um, it's been a joy and a treat to keep that species of true spider until next time if you guys keep it keep it crawling